Well, the news of the arrest and indictment of former McKenzie chief Rajat Gupta sent shivers through Wall Street in New York, where he was seen as a much celebrated international business leader. But just a few blocks away at the site of the Occupy Wall Street protest, the news was greeted with cheers. For weeks, they've been protesting what they call a culture of corporate greed. And news of Rajat Gupta, once the poster boy of Wall Street's arrest on charges of insider trading, was welcomed in Zuccotti Park, the heart of the Occupy Wall Street movement in the U.S. People in power, they all think they're untouchable, and I think this is a small uh, victory in real justice. So that's awesome. It's not like we need any more proof that Wall Street is corrupt, you know? So, I mean, I'm not that shocked at all. About time. It's about time they started ho holding some of these uh, illegal people and the, and the horrendous acts that they've committed accountable. About time. Protesters say the wiretap conversations between Rajat Gupta and Galleon hedge fund owner Raj Rajaratnam vindicates their stand as it offers unprecedented insight into the inner workings of Wall Street. I think that it's good that Raj Gupta was held accountable, uh, but I think that there's a lot more progress that needs to be made and that more executives who have really hurt the middle class and the poor should be held accountable as well. Well, I think it's a good thing that these people in high levels are being arrested and investigated, but it's going to take a lot more than Mr. Gupta to, to change things. By law, Rajat Gupta is supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, but as a giant wave of anti-Wall Street sentiment sweeps across America, he runs the risk of becoming the recognizable public face of the financial industry's greed. In New York, Sarah Jacob, NDTV. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.